Hello, people. Hello, people. You're on Twitch, right? That's where you're on. Nice. <laughs> See, I don't do that. I, I probably should start doing that, shouldn't I? Oh, uh, I should probably explain why we're here. Hi, everyone. That's going to go black for a second. Hi, everyone. Today, uh, probably no one's going to watch this because they're watching the actual direct. But today... We are reacting to the Nintendo Direct. I have no idea what to expect from this. Sean, do you have any idea what to expect from this? Because I don't... I have... You said something about Mario Kart 9. I don't think so. Why? Oh. Apparently... Wait, talk now. Sean? Apparently I had... That would have been bad if this was muted. It's gonna suck. I can't check the. I'll, I'll just check the stream volume as soon as we get there. Uh, Sean, I can't hear you. Uh, that's not good. Oh, I can hear you now. I'm going to look. At, it's this sucks. It's just one continuous screen, so I can't check if it's actually like updating or not. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, we're just we're basically. Nick is going oh, to be joining us at some now. point. I don't know when. He, he'll be here when he's here. Yeah, he sets around 5.15. Remember oh. to oh. join. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I it's 55, so it's starting like five minutes. And we're going to we're gonna react so good. I hope that they give more information about the 2022 movie. Or is it 2022 or is it 20? I hope they give more information about the movie. Not. Why not? Why? It's going to be so funny, though. If anything, it's going to be like a two-second trailer. You know what I'm kind of secretly hoping for? What? Uh, I forgot, which is why I'm asking you. Oh, what um... <laughs> uh, I'm really hoping for more information about Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, what? I had an idea earlier. I can't remember what it was. Though. You said Mario Kart 9 earlier. Yeah, but that that's not really something I care that much about. Yeah, and also I don't really see that happening too much. I don't know. I, I not that I'm not like a pessimistic person or anything. I just like Persona is something I'm hoping for. Um, the chances probably think of information about the Kirby game a little bit. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be the latest thing coming out, so they're gonna have something on it. That's I think that's pretty. Pretty good chance of that happening. Oh, the um the creator of Earthbound retweeted the Nintendo Direct thing with a quote tweet that said something about how 7 a.m. is going to be very important. So there might be an Earthbound related announcement. Dude, if they remaster Earthbound, that would be so cool. That would be so cool. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Uh. Obviously, there's going to be some some announcement about Splatoon 3. Speaking of Splatoon 3, I redid my laces. So now I'm purple and yellow to match the theme. Oh, yeah. Let's go. My shoes are incredibly dirty, and I probably need new ones. But that doesn't matter. What time is it? It's time for you to get a watch. <laughs> I was just listening to the stream. That's what I was doing. Uh, Yeah. So, roughly 40 minutes. Tune in for roughly 40 minutes. I'm going to have to run downstairs, get my food, and then come back. Right now? No, not not right now. But, like, in probably when the direct first starts, I'm going to speed run. You know what sucks? There's no more Smash Bros. character to announce. Yeah, I guess, but... Dude, I so wanted Phoenix Wright to be in it. I had my heart set on Phoenix. I had so many good ideas for stuff that you could do for that, too. Oh... You know what everyone forgot about? Mar the new Mario Rabbids game. So they might talk about that for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Um, I forgot about that. They might, oh, I remember. They might do DLC for uh, Mario Party Superstars. Hmm. Because the whole thing was that um, it's old it's old stuff coming back. But there's a lot, a lot of old stuff. So I wonder yeah, if, if they if they just recreate the, the first three games into one game. That would be really cool. Yeah. But I just keep adding yeah. DLCs like Mario Party 1 DLC, Mario Party 2 yeah. DLC. It'll probably be paid DLC. It'll probably be just an update or something they'll announce. 
They, they might yeah. do more Animal Crossing stuff. <laughs> I think the only game that really had it like a proper DLC was Breath of the Wild, and I guess Smash Bros. too because of the characters. Was good. Oh yeah, they had the oct octo pass, oct uh, uh, pass. You know, octo expansion. Yeah, yeah that's what I meant. <laughs> First half of 22. Uh, the one thing I'm worried about is the volume. Because <laughs> I'm afraid the volume is just going to blast. You're going to have to tell me if you see something. Because I'm just afraid that this thing is paused. It's not paused, I don't think. Yeah, we're good. Oh, it's starting! Yes! Oh, oh, my God. oh, mature 17 plus. Oh, this is Bayonetta. Yeah, that's probably Bayonetta. COVID 19, blah, 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 blah. No one cares if we only care about. Oh, oh, my. My stream quality is so bad, but it's okay because I'm only doing this to get reaction footage. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! Oh, is this. What is this? Fire emblems? Fire emblems? Starting right off the bat. I think this is Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem? Miss Carver was talking about this earlier. Yes, I knew it! It's Fire Emblem. What is this? Fire Emblem Three Hopes? They're making another one? Maybe it's a sequel to Three Houses. I don't know how Three Houses ends. Yeah, it's a sequel. I don't know how it ends. Miss Har is popping off right now, though. I know. <laughs> our, our teacher is popping off to Fire Emblem right now. I can feel it. Yeah. Is this? Was no. This is just a. Uh, uh, what's it called? Co uh, warrior. Uh, Dynasty warrior style Fire Emblem game. Yeah, I tried playing Three Houses, and I gotta be honest, it was very difficult for me. No, because Three Houses is what every Fire Emblem game is, and it's a strate it's a um, strategy RPG. But this doesn't look like that. This just looks like a, another spin-off. They gave they gave it the Breath of the Wild treatment. We shall survive, and we shall. Win. Yeah, why are, why is everybody making stuff Breath of the Wild? I'm I'm just checking volume by the way. That's what I'm doing. Well, no, I don't I don't mean that, but like, see, or, or like with Persona Five, I I feel like Dynasty Warrior games are starting to go up in popularity, and I don't know why. It actually has nothing to do with Breath of the Wild, but it started with Strikers, Persona Five Strikers, and then the next big one was um uh. The Breath of the Wild, uh, Hy Hyrule Warriors. That you must Already released it? That's close! Dang, actually, yeah, that's, really, that's really close. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hi. Takahashi, Takahashi. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Oh, God, I'm excited. Yeah, this is exciting. What you just saw was the trailer for the Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Yeah, it says Warriors, so that makes me think. We hope you look forward um, to a different uh, story set in the same it's probably a, as Fire Emblem Dynasty Three Warriors. Houses. Let's see the first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh, there goes the trailer. I just got the notification for the trailer. Oh. The Orange Star Nation. Oh, so, okay, so this is a follow-up on um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the the tank wars. On the advanced wars, one advanced wars. It, doesn't, it doesn't look that complicated, but campaign, I've heard from people wars, who like played the original ones. Like, like, cast of commanding go. officers and use their Yeah, I I, I hear that uh, advanced wars was one of the most popular Game Boy Advance games. Now voiced, yeah, bringing even more. Okay, I think dinner's ready. I'll be right back. All right. It it it's just us boys. Another full campaign awaits in Advance Wars Two: Black Hole Rising. More if you're watching this after, let me know what games in this direct do you want me to play, because I will play any of them that you ask me to, within reason. Of course, if if it's like Bayonetta, probably not. But anything other than that. And reset your turns for a smoother tactical experience. Flex your strategic muscles outside of both campaigns with additional modes. Go for high scores in the war room. I can hear him repeating through his mic. <laughs> Enemies in local and online multiplayer. Advanced Wars 1 plus 2 reboot. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. Sean, come back so I stop hearing it. Oh, that's so good. Explore an infinite universe. In No Man's Sky. In No Man's Sky, every star is the light of a distant sun. 
in my I hate hearing it. Why do I hear it? This is travel to planets of your Dang, this actually looks really cool. Procedurally generated universe. Here, you'll discover extraordinary lands and creatures that have never been seen before and may never be seen again. Oh my gosh. Sean, where are you? And even your own back. What is this? It's uh it's No Man's Sky. It looks pretty cool actually. And breathing universe. Trade convoys travel between but stars. I'm back on speaking. Factions vibe. Yeah. Uh, what I was gonna say is, uh, I could hear the stream, uh, your your stream five seconds before through your mic. Your journey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I was just. And actions have consequences. Trader. Yeah, let me. I can hear you. Okay, you can hear me fine on my stream. So, I don't have to worry about the sound anymore. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. This summer. That's cool. Yeah, I I know that people in our Discord. Oh yeah, here's Ravage. Oh, is it like a? Wait, maybe... Whoa, new Starker game? No way! No way! A new Dude! Dude! What? Every time I think there's not gonna be a new Mario game, a new Mario game comes out. And this is a good Mario game. Strikers <laughs> is actually cool. Give, I mean, I okay, okay, yeah, I I get it. That's not how you play soccer. Strikers is cool. I get this, but I think that they should probably put development more into other series than Mario because I feel like every direct has a new Mario game. Because <laughs> it's their flagship series. It's their Mario Strikers Battle League. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's just Mario FIFA, but it looks cooler than FIFA because FIFA's lame and boring. Heavy on offense. Aim for goals. That looks really nothing like the opening animation, teams. but I'll let it slide. Using tackles. Items. That's not how you play soccer. Crushing special shots. The main rule in this sport is My to gosh, what? What is it? I Sorry. Really that. I, I genuinely never thought they were going to bring Mario Strikers. There are two things Why not? I, f I feel like I they would. I've never been a big fan of Strikers in the first place, but I really like the art style, and I liked how they did it. This looks really cool, though. Like speed, strength, and pass accuracy. Dang, yeah, okay, yeah, that's, <laughs> that does look really cool. Second, the Hyper Strike. To activate this shot, Grab an orb when it appears on the field and charge it while your opponents are distracted. Dude, Luigi looks so upset. That, okay. I will play this game only for the art. Yeah, I agree with you. The art and the, like, the style of this game looks really cool. Up to eight players. Eight players. This one's a party game. Dang. Nintendo Switch system. Oh my god. individual matches. Dang. Online play will have an online Dude. club mode. Join an in-game club and compete for placement. So they're the trying to make it competitive, actually, to too. Players can join a club. Man, I love so this. Create your own and I love that I'm taking an old series that people... That, there was a niche, there was yeah. a niche community for this game. Was it there? It? Was it like, like not Shaquille O'Neal? Shaquille O'Neal was in the other one, wasn't it? <laughs> or there was some kind of celebrity. With items. I forget. Tackles. Yeah, but, dude, I love that. I love that art thing they do. Yeah, yeah, where it's like the scribble on the sides. Yeah, that's so cool. June 10th. Holy crap. And they're only talking about this now. I am excited. Please take a look at this. Okay. Bayonetta? Oh. oh! It has to be. This is the art style. Damn runs back! No way! Oh my gosh! I have not played Splatoon before. Oh, I played for 2 2 a little bit. Oh, this, this looks so cool! This is different. This is like apocalyptic. Yeah. Have you not been paying attention? Okay, so they're using the same models, but that's fine. They look pretty much the same, but there's gonna be. Oh! Did you look at the upper right. Look at the little on the upper right. Look how the meter looks. It's different. Oh yeah. I would also say that it's the same system, so I don't know how much they can upgrade him. Oh. What is that? It's a drill. Built the towers. <laughs> what is that? Boss. It's a fish stick. 
Dude, that looks like it's gonna be horrible to try to deal with. Oh but dang, you, you gotta go on top of it and shoot all of them. What is that? Oh! That doesn't look good. <laughs> I love your reactions to all these. Oh, wait, that doesn't look good. Oh, he's dead. You can throw them at each other now! That's so smart. It also looks like you can carry multiple at a time. Oh! This is so cool. Dude. This looks like something worth playing, because it, it. hopefully there will actually be a good singer, single player mode. And this is that music, dude. Okay, so the gameplay doesn't look... Okay, the gameplay is different, and the style, the style doesn't look that much different. For this game mode, at least. But it is... So you can go directly into the basket now, dude. That's awesome. It has, has this been a previous game mode? Yeah, this was in the last game. But... Oh, lore? Lore? Oh crap, it's a fish! <laughs> that is a big fish. Whoa! What the heck? It's what? a mob boss fish. Salmon. Next wave! Salmon run next wave. Where's Nick? <laughs> That's that was the trailer. That's all they're giving us for Splatoon 3? The next wave of Salmon Run. A giant salmon head that's all they're giving that's us never been seen man before, was also spotted at the end of the trailer will the inklings and octolings ink or swim we know that is a very weird question that's to ask ah uh, that's, that's that's a lot i feel like what no i feel like that's quite a bit you know this all right headlines mean stuff that's like smaller games i'm gonna i'm gonna message nick really quickly I'll be on soon, he said. He said that uh, 15 minutes ago. So. We will see if he will actually be on soon. I can hear it through your thing. <laughs> it's, another, it's another tactical RPG. I don't mind. I don't expect every single thing in the direct to be... Jaw-dropping. Yeah, there's usually... They fill it with about, like... Uh, like, I would say 30-40% smaller stuff that don't ca really care about, and a lot of stuff that people really care about. Oh, this is cool? Yeah, but... I feel like it's not cool enough... I'm not gonna buy this. And in the future... The sequel, really? Mission 2 Remake, will also launch on Nintendo I, Switch. That's interesting how they're announcing that. Dang, working on the first one while still working. No. Oh, crap. Then this is not Mario Kart 9. Mario this is not Mario Kart, Kart 9. Sorry, guys. No Mario Kart 9, but you can play Disney Speedstorm. No, this is Mario Kart 9. They decided to change up all the characters and also get sued by Disney. Mario Kart 9. <laughs> Disney buys Nintendo. <laughs> Choose Mickey Mouse for some They got Marvel and then they were like Mar Nintendo we're coming for you. Or Mulan for explosive maneuvers. Each racer also possesses this powerful lame. ultimate skills. Perfect for turning the tables at the last. I mean the graphics look good, but Disney it's I Disney. Like, I like how the powers are character specific though. That's cool. Regularly, bringing more exciting Disney and Pixar characters. Circuit well, looks like cards. I, and are they using the models from Disney Infinity? Because it looks like a kind of. As well as split screen and online multiplayer. I don't think so. I think. Disney Speedstorm races onto Nintendo Switch this summer. I don't think they'll be using the same ones. Dive into these classic franchises on Nintendo Switch. Ooh, is this more stuff for Nintendo Online? Oh, never mind. In this classic Star Wars action adventure, as Darth Vader's secret apprentice, you'll use devastating force powers and lightsaber combos as you hunt down Jedi Masters on iconic planets. No, but this section is just for like I think ports of older games. Are yeah, I hope that they add more. To, I want to. I want to see if they announce more stuff for online because that's that's what I'm really looking forward to. I love online stuff. Like the Nintendo I'm Switch. Not buying the, did you buy the expansion pack? I didn't buy the Nintendo 64 one because I have, I already have pretty much all the Nintendo 64 games I need. And there's no point in buying. I guess like the only reason I would get it is to play it portably, but I, I don't really need to. Assassin's Creed, huh? 
Oh. Explore Renaissance Italy and 16th century Constantinople. Oh, so it's just remastered Assassin's Creed. Oh, that's okay. That's the creed across three games. That's something that like Tristan would like, where it's like he's he's not a big fan of Nintendo games, but he got the Nintendo Switch to play Skyrim or something like that. I forget why he played it. He, we got it. Touch screen controls, HD rumble, and optimized. So they're, they're doing the thing where like you just Creed, add stuff to the Switch. Launches on Nintendo Switch February 17th. Oh. Pilot mobile suits in dynamic action RPGs. Wow! Strange incidents called breaks are occurring across the it's, Gundam universe. It's uh, it's a mix between um, Transformers and Metroid. No, this is Gundam. This is like already a thing. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Prove their power. You can also battle alongside friends. Not the game, but like the Gundam. He's, he's Gundam yeah, the mech things. Yeah. Anything? Two worlds cross in the triumphant no! return of this Wait. RPG classic. <gasps> Please tell me. Oh. Of the I got RPG scared. I saw the moon and I saw like the different the color scheme and I was like, holy system. shit. One I, I thought this was about to be uh Earthbound, a remastered Earthbound, and I was about to freak the heck out. He finds that he no Are we play through Earthbound? I uh, I played through a, a lot of it. See, I find it interesting. Travel back and forth between both I think it's kind of cool that they're the taking old games that were on like join your party. older systems, the but then they're just like they're the keeping the models, they're keeping the old the models, and I think that's cool. Yeah, because I feel like is, yeah, there's certain games that are just better in that style. There's certain games that are just better in that style. Like I know Landon, the guy, the guy that I uh, stream with for my stream. Uh, he hates older graphics. We literally stopped playing the game that I st was streaming and started playing something else because he couldn't deal with it. But, um, sometimes you need to get the older graphics. I feel like it's much better that way. This is cool. I mean, I haven't played this game before, but it's cool. Yeah, it's part of it, I think. Oh, oh yeah, Kirby's, Kirby stuff. Uh, I hate that you're a second ahead of me, so you react a second Because <laughs> I, because you said Kirby stuff that I saw. Oh, sorry, my bad. No, no, you don't, don't, don't wait a second, just... I'll wait, ha I'll wait two seconds to get hyped. No, 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 it's fine. Oh, no, what are these pots? So he eats them still. Okay, yeah. No, Kirby car? He's gonna turn into a car! Oh, he's no. gonna turn into a car! Oh my god! Please, please, oh, please turn into a car! <laughs> wait. That is the stupidest game mechanic, but I love it. Dude, I love, I love how he doesn't turn into a car. He just stretches into one. He's... What does his tongue control the car? Is that what he does? Maybe? I'm excited for this game. Yeah, I am. I'm really excited for this game. It all takes place in a mysterious world with an unusual mix of nature and civilization. To rescue the kidnapped Waddle Dees, Kirby sets off on a new Why does he want to rescue those guys? They were trying to kill him in the past games. Introducing mouthful mode. Bro, <laughs> what is this? Mode. This is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my oh. gosh, he's a fancy <laughs> <team> machine! <laughs> Dude, this is genius of them. This is genius. Because he makes it so that he doesn't just inhale enemies, but he's interacting with like what's around him. This I know, you. but it's also. He's a lift! <laughs> Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Enjoy exploring with new okay, this this is both amazingly far out, like, incredibly out there, but I also love it. This is genius of them. I would have never thought about this. This is, like, this is huge. Because, like, everyone's like, oh, yeah. Oh, you have to build the town up. That's cool. They're always, like, living things. Yeah. At Waddle Dee's Weapon Shop. Familiar copy abilities can be evolved. Okay, so now you can evolve copy abilities. I like this. This is cool. That is. Oh that my is god! So cool. copy Whoa! Oh, back Big butt. Attacks. I forgot his name, but. Dang. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Now that this, this is really cool. They really improved this. They brought back the gigantic sword from a uh, uh, Return to Dreamland. Some copy abilities may have stronger evolved forms. Dang. That's so cool. A new adventure awaits our pink puffball. That's so cool. The beast pack. 
Where's King DDD? Is that him? To do? No, that wasn't him. Can Kirby restore peace to this world? Kirby and the Forgotten Land launches on the Nintendo That's Switch so cool. Okay, yeah, I feel like that's gonna that's gonna be a big thing. <laughs> that's so cool. I was laughing for a second because I was thinking that this is really far out there. But I agree, that is kind of huge that he didn't have. Next month. Please look forward Genius. to its release. Let's take a look at some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Dang, so many things are coming out in March. Nintendo Direct will run the Minasan. Konnichiwa. Butter no Otani Shohei des. Pitcher no Otani Shohei des. They look very happy to be there. Konka Hajimete, and maybe the Shohei Shinika. That's right, Otani son. And I'll be the show. It looks so happy. Nintendo Switch. That means you can play modes like Road to the Show. Who's, what is this narrator? What is he? Nintendo what is yo, he yeah. yo, what up, guys? You can, you can play it on Nintendo Switch. Switch. Honestly, these, as, as terrible as these graphics are, they're also really good. This is just... Yeah, okay, not only were the actors that were presenting it, or not the actors, but like the, the pitch that was presenting it really monotone and like not at all into it, but that guy was also not into it. The Japanese guys on the cover for the Switch version. I knew you were a true two-way player, but this is ridiculous. Sheesh. What? What? You're gonna have your hands full of games with okay. these collections. Yeah, they are really nice. The March collections are almost here. Oh. From Kingdom Hearts. But it's it's a cloud version, so you can't play it on DLC. Every entry is coming to Nintendo Switch as cloud versions that can be played while connected to the internet. Real yeah. Or get to know these cloud versions. Eh, not that I'm going to play it anyway. I'm not really a Kingdom Hearts fan. And more I want to get into Kingdom Hearts, but tabletop or handheld. it's so hard to get a hold of the games. And if you play them like this, it's like... For cloud, containing all three if you have to play on the internet, it like defeats the purpose, you know? Nintendo Switch tomorrow. Yeah. Each collection's cloud version will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. Huh. <gasps> Klonoa is coming to Nintendo I, Switch. I saw that for a second. Across I thought they were remastering Banjo-Kazooie, and I was about to freak out. If they remaster Banjo-Kazooie, I will kiss the ground they walk on. Each level surroundings to your I like this. This is cute. It look, uh, I was going to say it looks like Banjo-Kazooie. Take on these great adventures. Kind of reminds me of Sonic. Model reminds me of Sonic. Yeah. It reminds me of Sonic. Yeah. Reminds me of Sonic. Nintendo Switch July 8th. It looks he looks exactly like Sonic except We're so glad you're here. Oh? Oh? Come here often. Either way. Oh, that's cool. For a puzzling treat. I mean, I already have them, but that that's cool that they're they're taking these. I don't. Is this is this the two in one? In a mysterious lab. I think it's Portal and Portal 2. It says it says it's a collection. Warp to other areas to find cake? Uh, still unconfirmed. You can pass through portals, and so can oh. cubes, lasers, and cool. robots with unnerving yeah. levels of personality. If you don't have access to them, adds in local, online, and split-screen multiplayer modes. And that part's no lie. Neither is the sentient robot monitoring your every move. Huh. Portal That's cool. Collection yeah, that is cool. Okay, yeah. That's... Oh, cool I don't know though. if I can text, but I'm gonna let you know. I'll be watching. You guys are awesome, Paige. Hey, thank you, Paige! No, I just clicked out of the direct! What is this? Oh, it's the Octopath thing, isn't it? It's not Octopath, is it? Oh, it's probably Octopath. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Nope, it's not. It's <laughs> Live Alive. It's pretty much I really Octopath. I like this style. Yeah, I really like the style of 2D and 3D. It's I've pretty much Octopath. Previously unreleased outside of Japan, the RPG Live Alive makes oh, its live alive. debut. Now in HD 2D. Multiple stories featuring different protagonists and time periods await. The order in which you tackle them is up to you. Prehistory. A tribesman comes of age in a world without words. The Wild West. All right. a Sounds still good. Just make sure. Life. I like this. This is the interesting to me. China, a Kung Fu yeah. Ah. Uh, 
Twilight of Edge. But like, I like it. Like it. Like it. I like how there's a lot of different stories. I might play through this. Present day, it's just, it's pretty much Octopath. To become the strongest there ever was. The near future, a youth with psychic powers takes a stand against evil. The distant future, a newly built robot is swept. <laughs> I love, I love how it's only like on certain occasions I can hear it through your mic. <laughs> really like this. Live alive. This is cool. On Nintendo Switch, July 22nd. I still don't. I still feel. You know, I I think it's cool that they're not giving a lot of information about Splatoon 3. Because that's kind of like what I asked for, but at the same time, as a huge Splatoon fan. Oh, tennis? Yes! This is awesome! Oh! That, okay, I'm less excited. What the heck? Why did you just use Mies? You could have just used Mies. Mies are on here. Oh, it was so good until that came onto the screen. You literally have Miitopia. Why wouldn't you use Mies on here? <laughs> the Mies is what gave this entire thing. Okay, now it's not cool. <laughs> Knock your opponent off the platform. What? Is it just really? the, is it just the best games from Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort? Plus, is that what it is? Three additional sports are joining Maybe, the lineup. but here's the thing about those games. Soccer. Use a gigantic That's ball not soccer. <laughs> that's That's pre I guess Enjoy Rocket League is pretty much soccer. I don't know. Wii Actually, Sports. Okay, Wii Sports on the Wii is cool. By attaching a Joy-Con controller to the leg strap accessory included with the physical version of the game, you can play shootout mode with intuitive kicking motions. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's cool. But the thing is that... Control your shots left did Nintendo right develop the this? Because this doesn't... Unleash power I don't think they developed this. The because if they developed it, I feel like you'd be seeing the Switch logo lo a lot more. Yeah. And I feel like they'd be the using actual Miis. To serve, bump, this doesn't... This doesn't feel right. And spike the ball. This do, yeah, this doesn't seem Nintendo like. I don't know. The game supports local like, play with family No, I I feel like this feels like a Nintendo game, but then well you look at the characters and some of the sports. games, it doesn't feel like it. Play against hmm. friends online, or opt for random matchmaking. The more you win, the huh. tougher the players you'll face. Huh. Okay, I. I'm behind the idea of Nintendo Try Switch Sports. I am behind that idea. I think they could have been with that. Since I'm already here, I'd like to show you some gameplay of one of the newly added sports, volleyball. Mr. Takahashi. Mr. Takahashi. Oh. oh. Hello there, everyone. I'm Yoshi. I'm Yoshi Aki <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello there. Mr. Koizumi, I can see you're ready okay, to play. So Maybe it is made by Nintendo. Right. Some volleyball online. Oh, no, no I, I, think, think I think it's by Spoko Square. I don't think it was fully made by Nintendo. Yeah, it's see the Spoko Square? See the like Spoko Square thing? You see the Spoko Square thing well. next to the, the, like on yeah. the other side of the Yeah, I think that's what it was made by. Either way, We'll be including some live commentary the criticism of the Mies be, be, be uh, aside, I still think it's cool that they made this. Yeah, I, I think they could have... Okay, what is Spoko Oh, see, so yeah, those have Mies on them. What can we expect Where? Today from the Look, Takahashi on the left. Team. Takahashi and Koizumi, it's they're both Koizumi Mii heads. So I guess it's just the computers that aren't Mii heads. You can make, you can make it yourself. How will the opposing team react? Interesting. Interesting. I didn't, I didn't see it because I was looking up Spoko Square. Maybe Spoko Square is like a game or a brand inside of the game. I think, it, and I, I do like that they're. I do like that they're taking advantage of the motion controls because other than one two switch, they haven't been doing much with it. But I, I do like them. receives it. Takahashi sets it up. I like the environment, and I like the idea, but again, it just doesn't feel the same. So they are using me. You know what I actually, I really like? I like the fact that they're actually doing this live, so it's not planned for anyone to win. Let's stop our match here. Oh, never mind. We were in the middle of a presentation. All right, I'll be leaving now. Oh, 10 out of 10 go? editing. 10 out of 10 editing. To Nintendo Switch Sports.
The game After friend texted me, he just said, hurry up, watch the stream, rip me. We're planning a free update in the summer that allows you to play soccer matches with a Joy-Con controller and the... So maybe they'll let you choose. You maybe they'll let you yeah, choose Yeah, I did see. It. They were using me heads, so I, it's, I think there is Mies. It's just the... Uh, also planning a second free update this fall. I think, I think they're just trying Ooh. to push for the new models more. Because yeah. Because look, look at them. They're more expressive, kind of, and they're like... They're probably more customizable. They probably didn't give this entire game the Miitopia freedom of creativity, but... But they also had online... Online playtest planned, and then they also said they're adding golf in the fall. Yeah. So, yeah, I th I'll buy that. I'm not sure if I'll buy it, but it does look like... Wait, what is this available? Online playtest available 18th to 20th. This is soon. Please visit the official Nintendo website for more details. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Bye. I was gonna say, That's please don't tell me that was it. Nintendo Switch Sports. Oh. I hope you're looking forward to this game. Let's she said about Nintendo Switch Nintendo Sports. Switch oh. All right, we're good. So, that that was just all. Get I don't. Oh, oh. Skills ready. What? Taiko no Tatsujin. The latest Taiko no Tatsujin game is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Yo. Omiko City. Is this a rhythm game? Yeah, this is a rhythm game. Oh, okay, so yeah, this is all you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a rhythm guy. New character Kumokyun. What is it? I think. Drawn to dozens of bop and beats, including Megalovania. <laughs> okay, Megalovania, Gurenge is from Demon Slayer, Kai Kai Kitan is from Jujutsu Kaisen. Dude, that's awesome that they're giving, um... Oh yeah, the Zelda? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Taiko... What is this? That looks difficult. Or face off against each other in Great Drum Toy War. Oh, you can block people with ducks. That's so. That's so like I'd be that. terrible cool. at that game. I would be so terrible at that game. I want to get the drum controller. But it's this is cool. I like this. Dude, if they come out with Nintendo Switch bongos, I would be such a happy man. They, they don't have Nintendo Switch bongos, but they do have a. There's a drum controller that does exist uh, for this game. What's new with these Nintendo Dude, Switch this is games. the third time you've done this. Come on, just. The brand new tactical RPG game Triangle Strategy is almost here. So these are just the updates. Yeah. And his Honestly, I thought this was Octopath Traveler too. There are way too Dude, many games. Is Octopath Traveler. What? Determine their fate. Everything you see in this style is Octopath Traveler. Yeah, because they all look the same. <laughs> Shall be bound. I will never turn my back on the promise of a better world. A new demo playable to the end of Chapter Three will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. We only have like ten minutes left in the stream. The There's got to be something. Up. I mean, I think I think we we sports More or action awaits in the paid DLC Cuphead, the delicious last course. Uh, I think I think the we sports thing was pretty good. Um, there's, yeah, there's got to be something in the last ten minutes though. Yeah. The clever Miss Chalice is a new playable character. Take down Took them long enough. Double jumps, rolling dodges, and oh yeah, they've been working on the show for the Netflix. Last oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Nintendo Switch, June thirtieth. A free update is coming. Ooh, to I have this game. What is it? All it takes is one hit. Even from this. What? Oh, that would Getting suck. Even once causes a game over in the brutal dread mode difficulty. Can dread you face mode. this new challenge? So it's just one hit, you die. And for players new to the Metroid series, take advantage of increased recovery with the newly added rookie mode difficulty. That's for me, baby. I'm the rookie <laughs> mode guy. Launches a second That's interesting. In April will add a boss rush mode in which you'll battle bosses continuously, one at a time. That's, oh, that's cool. cool. That's cool. Nothing substantial though. Yeah, yeah, that's about what I'd expect from a couple of free updates. Yes, 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 yes. Earthbound? Earthbound? Finally? Earthbound? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh my gosh, finally! Three years. I wanna play it again. Three years. I wanna play it, I don't even care. I want Yes! <sighs> I knew it! It took them three years to come out with this. Dude, I'm so looking forward to this. I wanna play this game again.
I, I, I used to play it for the first time. I'm mostly looking forward to the save state because I feel like my my biggest pet peeve of this, of like the original game, was like losing really like really easily to a battle and having to go back. And it was, it was just yeah. It's almost like this game should have been here from the start. <laughs> what? That's not. Wait, is this Mother Three? Oh, oh, yeah. Is this like an original it... Earthbound? No. So, okay, kind of. So I think, from what I know, it's like Earthbound was like. Yeah, this is first Earthbound. Wow. Huh. Earthbound and Earthbound beginnings will be added to Nintendo Switch Online. I don't. Later I don't today. know how. I don't. Later exactly today. The, I don't know how the games. What? I don't know how the games relate to. Oh, what is this? Why they? Why was Demon Slayer there? Zombie for Dead War. So these are just. So, oh, they're probably putting Hinokami Chronicles on the game on the Switch, which is a Demon Slayer fighting game. This looks cool. See, I'm always interested in like 2D games like these, and I love how they do them differently sometimes. That looks fascinating to me. But yeah, so they're putting the Demon Slayer fighting game on it. Wait, that looked like it was 2D though. Is it Not like 2D? So like, with most anime fight modern anime fighting games, they'll have it so like it's a three-dimensional plane, so you can go. What is this? That's uh, Lego Brawls. I have no idea, but. It looks like the same thing you were just oh. talking about, but Lego. Two Point Campus, that's been around for a while, but they're probably just putting it on here. Huh. Yeah. But, um, the way that most anime fighting games work is that there's like, what did you think? there's, there, there's you have your rank, but instead of it being like Street Fighter, where you can only go left or right, you can like, you have full range of motion. Yeah. Oh, but from the gameplay footage that they showed off, it looked like you could only do it Street Fighter style, and I don't know if that's just an add-on, or what? Huh. But. Please take a look at this trailer. What? I, I wasn't paying content? attention. I was. Oh? Oh? What? Oh, it's probably just... Yeah, you know what? This is probably just uh, DLC for Mario Kart 8. Yeah. That, yeah. Okay, I'm I'm not upset. Coconut Ball! Coconut Ball! Woo! Okay, I don't even yeah, care you know, if it's this DLC. Isn't, I don't even care you know, if it, this isn't, What? This isn't Mario Kart 9. It's still Mario Kart 8. It doesn't matter. It has it Coconut matter. Ball. You know it you has Coconut Ball. It doesn't even Mario matter. Kart. Is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass? Is that Tycho? You may recognize some courses from past Mario. Yes. So they just took the courses from old games and then put it on eight, so they didn't have to put in the eight development time. Eight courses will be released so... at a time over six ways. That's a lot. That's forty-eight additional. Okay, that's a lot. I'll give them the benefit. <laughs> of okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't complain anymore. You can't even Such complain anymore. Coconut yeah, but here's the thing: they're just old courses. They're moving over. But it looks so cool. Cool, cool, but like it's not even like they're it doesn't seem like they're adding characters at all oh tokyo bird from my cart tour no one knows that it's because it was locally and it's like it's just it's still the same game. it's the same mechanics it's the same item what do you think they're gonna change in the new one it's still gonna be mario Look kart the difference between mario kart 7 on the 3ds and mario kart 8 it's it's different dude you just you don't you don't get it bro you don't get it bro Pre-orders begin today. The okay. I gotta say, at first I thought $25 was a lot, but for 48 additional courses. Yeah, and, but still, they're not adding characters to the roster. Oh, expand. Okay, I'm gonna get the expansion pass. Man, I don't even have the Mario Party Deluxe base game. How was that? That was good. I think that was good. in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This next segment will be our last announcement. And it's about Breath of the Wild 2 or look. something. It's gonna be the movie. What oh. is this? Oh? Is this Xenoblade or something? I don't know. I thought it was Shin Megami Fighting Tensei. To live. It's not Shin Megami Tensei now. And living to fight. Mm -mm. This has to be something. That's the way of our world. This looks like... Yeah, this kind of looks like Xenoblade a little bit. Ionios. Xenoblade 3? 
tell me. Yeah, okay, that's definitely Xenoblade 3. Yeah, I can tell by the accent, it's Xenoblade 3. To believe you're him. And the I different swords. I saw this coming. You are, you're not enemies now. Fine for you, isn't it? All that time you've got. You could try, try to move forward again. Oh no, it's Gromps. They're not your friends anymore. I still want to play the first. I want to play the first one definitely. The sure first you know, Don't waste your time with the second one. <laughs> yeah, the second one I want to play for the characters, but it it sounds like it's just not fun. It was. I pl I played a lot of it. It wasn't fun. Enemy. Whatever life is lost, I, I only played it for Pyro and Mithra, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, this is. Wait, is this Xenoblade? Yeah, it is Xenoblade. I, I, it's for sure Xenoblade. I recognize some of the like the species of characters. Yeah. I think this is really cool. But like to have a very small Splatoon three announcement and then nothing else. For, like, yeah, Breath I don't think they should have. If this is, if this is, if they consider this is a big announcement, I don't. I think they should have raised their stakes a little bit. I think yeah. the biggest announcement. There, there have definitely been more Xenoblade fans since Pyro and Mithra came out for Smash Bros. But, like, there's still not nearly as many compared to the other two games. Yeah, Xenoblade 3. Yeah, okay, well, for That's Xenoblade cool. fans, I guess, I guess if for Xenoblade, Xenoblade fans. Xenoblade fans are definitely hyped over this. But, like, if you're just going to tell the the two bigger communities that all you get is, like, like, one community doesn't get anything. Please say, oh, one more thing. The story of Xenoblade Chronicles and then the other community gets like, oh, we're putting a mode that already exists onto here. Kind of lame. And it will launch this September. I hope you'll look forward to it. I won't. Well, I hope other people will. Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Yeah, they're not doing the one more thing thing. Dang it. That's all. Well, okay. Okay, fun. well, I think summary notes right now. Um... um Summer, summary sum notes i i, I think, think my favorite part of this is either the mario strikers or the nintendo the nintendo sports was pretty cool earthbound i'm excited about mm -hmm. i like the 48 new courses i know you said you didn't weren't really a fan because it is well it's not really new courses but i like that they're remaking stuff right uh but yeah I, look I, at the look at the live chat l l Someone said WL, are you kidding me? Yeah, the audio is bad. L, 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 no Breath of the Wild. Among Us 2? No Zelda, L, L, L. Thank you for <laughs> Splatty. Are you kidding me? Boad. So, okay. Uh, I, it, I, it's I it's think, better than they're saying. It was better. I really than like, I, I feel like fans have started to get spoiled. I really like what Nintendo is starting to do. Where they... Not starting to do, but what they're doing with Splatoon 2 and Breath of the Wild, Splatoon 3 and Breath of the Wild 2, and what they're doing is, they're unveiling the main game, they're putting a lot within the trailers of the main game, but then they, they remain very secretive about it. Like, within the past, what, how long has it been since uh, Breath and I of guess, the Wild? And I guess that's the good part about this Direct, then, is the fact that they didn't reveal too much about it. And at so, the same time, they I, I think Xenoblade 2 might have been a good idea then because it's it's a relatively largely popular game. Right. And if they're not going to... If to, they're be fair, to be fair, after how... Uh, I've heard... After how much I've, I've heard how, um, how disappointing uh, Xenoblade 2 was, I feel like Nintendo made the right move about saying, hey, we're trying to fix our mistakes and make a better... Xenoblade 3, and from what it looks like, it looks like it's going to be really cool. It looks like they're trying to have more characters. I it hate looks like the accents, but I guess... Stopping <laughs> racist against British people. No, it's not even that. It's just... It's it's not even... I, I'm i fine with British accents. I watch people like YouTube with British accents. It's just those where it's like, really, really hoy, and it's like very... It's almost like fake British accents, to be honest. But, yeah, honestly, so what are the big things we got? We They announced that Salmon Run was coming back to Splatoon 3. And that's not really that big. <laughs> You've only talked about Splatoon. No, because I'm I'm going from I'm going from topic to topic. I'm going from what I remember on because they started what did they start with? They started with the new uh Fire Emblem game. Oh yeah. And honestly, and I, if 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 you are feel, saying that kind of feels kind of just like a cash grab. That feels like uh with uh Hyrule Warriors it kind of just feels like it's a cash grab so fans can yeah. see their favorite characters more. But and I then, also, I would say, if you're right about it being a different style game, I might I might try it. 
I don't know. Because I, I don't like the stupid uh, the strategy style game of it. I, I, if it's different, I might try it. I don't know. But keep going, keep going. And then for after that, they updated on Advanced Wars 1 and 2. That's cool. That looks cool. I don't know if it's for me. Yeah. And then they said, okay, Salmon Run's coming back to Splatoon 3. And as a Splatoon fan who's actually a part of this community, that's really cool. And it's cool that they're they're doing more with it. But just from base gameplay, it doesn't look like it's that much more. And when I see that, it kind of concerns me. Like, it's on the same system. And the gameplay for this game mode that a lot of people like looks generally the same. And that kind of worries me that how much different is the gameplay of Splatoon 3 going to be from Splatoon 2? Because there's a noticeable difference between 1 and 2. Yeah, um, but it, I would also I would give them the benefit of the doubt and say that it's the same system. It's not necessarily more powerful. Uh, the, I would say the difference between uh, the Wii U and the and the Switch power is pretty significant. So I would yeah. I would say the reason that it got so much better is because they they it's a new system. It's more powerful. This is the Maybe same it, system. Well, yeah, but at the same time, there was the gameplay. It's not like the gameplay was being limited by the Wii U. It's just that they had more experience in the game, and I think they had a finer idea of what they thought the game should be. And as they're progressing the story through these incremental games, I think because Splatoon 2 already exists, I think what they're doing is they're putting more effort into the single player campaign because there is a lot of there's a lot of um, stuff inside of the Splatoon lore. Um, so I think I think Splatoon 3 is going to end up being more of online wise. It's going to be more of Splatoon 2 with Splatoon 3 assets. But if they're going to put if they're putting more effort toward the story mode, then I feel like it's going to be a very, very different feeling game. Which um, I, I think that's good because I, I feel like the story modes of the past two games are not. At yeah. least I well, didn't play the Octo expansion, so I don't know about that. But I, 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 I don't. They're fun. The base, the base story modes of Splatoon one and two. They're fun and they have like their little cute moments with the characters, but it doesn't really go in depth with the story. All it does is it gives you collectibles that you can analyze. Yeah. And then when we started, and then when they gave us Octo Expansion, it kind of, it kind of tried, it tried to dip its toes in the water with these little text conversations they have between like Pearl and Marina and the characters, and it, it kind of gives you a peek into what they can do with Splatoon Three. Now after that, they had Kirby. Kirby looks like it's going to be really cool. Oh yeah, the flipping car thing and the yeah. vending machine and all that crap. Yeah, that's going to be. It looks funny. I th but in the end, it's still going to be a Kirby game. It's going to feel different to play, and maybe different copy abilities are going to feel different to play with, or they're going to be more fun. But uh, it feels like... it feel So it doesn't feel like it has some of the charm of the older Kirby games, because when you look at things like... And I'm um, looking at it, and it looks kind of like... Almost like a... Not I wouldn't say like a toad treasure tracker type thing, but you know what I mean. Where it's like it's not no, exactly mean, open like, world, but it's like right. I but I think I think it's gonna be good, but I don't think it's gonna be that. It's not gonna be like a game changer for the Kirby series. I think I think Nintendo's just dipping their toes in the water for this one, just feeling out how a three D Kirby game would be. Because, well, they, so they kind of did that with Kirby's Blow Up Blast, which was on the 3DS, but those were all level-based. And I think, I think Nintendo's trying to take the idea of a 3D Kirby game incrementally. Yeah. Because the switch from 2D to 3D in a lot of games is a hard switch. Um, after Kirby, what did we have? We had a couple smaller games. Smaller games. I think the next big one was the, the Nintendo Switch Sports. Yeah, Nintendo Switch Sports. Both, I would, I would give it both. Like, I love the idea behind it, bringing that classic game to the Switch. I, I think my only major complaint is the Miis, but even then, yeah, as they're playing it, you can see that you can use the Miis, so it's not that big of a deal. I don't think. So, I think overall, that's going to be a really good, really fun thing to play. Right. I think it was really smart uh, about bringing another sports game, like a Nintendo-owned sports game, to the Switch. But I find it interesting because the most icon, the thing that made Wii Sports Resort and Wii Sports and Wii Play, the thing that made all those games was the Miis. That's what made the game the game. Yeah. And it's like it's like when you take it's like in remasters where they take the original sprites and then and then they'll try to change them. 
Because if it was, if they were taking like character customization and doing it like a different type of character, but it still looked like Mies, that'd be different. But these don't look like Mies. These remind me of the characters, the the models from Ninjala. Um, I don't know if, how familiar you are with that game, but Ninjala? it reminds me of Ninjala. No, I'm not familiar with that game. I'm trying yeah, to but... find where the heck this game is. It it reminds me of that. Um, I think the sports are going to be fun, and I like how they're implementing motion controls again. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's going to be nearly as, not even successful, as lovable as the other. As oh, the other definitely games. not. Definitely not. And an an aspect of that is that the Switch has the Wii Wii Sports worked because a it was bundled in with the uh, Wii, and b. It was a pick up and play type game, and a lot of the games on the Wii were pick up and play type and games. And if they were, and if they weren't, they flopped. The Switch, because of their such broader audience, where there are pick up and play games, but there are also harder games that still work on the Switch. It, it's a dynamic shift, where if you played Wii Sports and then you got older, and then oh, here's coming Nintendo Switch Sports, but I'm switching from someone else. It's not going to have the same effect. It's not going to feel the same. It's a different. It's a different. It's just not going to be the same. And another thing I would say is is the the Wii being the first major motion control, uh, system. Everyone was freaking out about that too. So right. having a game that is entirely based around that, they loved it so much. And now that it's not, I wouldn't say it's like old news, but like it's not nearly as popular. It's like just kind of like, okay, motion controls. That's kind of in almost everything now. So really like the appeal Sorry, isn't there ahead. anymore. Yeah, yeah that, that was pretty much my entire thought. So, to wrap up what I was thinking, I really like that they're doing this. I just don't know if I like how they're doing it. Yeah, they could um, be doing it better. With re- a lot of remasters, what it is, um, they just kind of take the old games and then revamp the sprites or the models and then re-release it as the same thing. But with what, um, what this seems to be, this seems to be both uh, a remaster and like a... A sequel, almost. Yeah. It's like this is this is to what uh, Wii U Sports Resort, like Wii Wii Sports Resort was the successor to Wii Sports. Yeah. So this is kind of like the successor to those games. Um, but yeah, it kind of feels beneath both of them, though. <laughs> it's not. It's yeah. It's not gonna feel like them because it's just it's not gonna feel like that. Um. After that, we had what we had the announcement of Earthbound, which I'm excited Earthbound. for. Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings is huge. Yeah, because uh, the first thing when they came out with the SNES uh, uh, online thing, I asked about is do do they have Earthbound? Because I wanted to play it at the time, and then I did right. I did play it just by having it, having my own copy of it. So uh, I, I I already had my own copy of it, so I didn't really I guess I didn't need it at that time, and now. I guess I, I want to play it again because I don't think I ever really fully beat it. And I always play typically, – typically when it's like games like that, especially online stuff, I typically play it a lot more on the go. Like like at school where I have Wi-Fi and I can just sit down in a corner and put headphones in and be gone for hours. But uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm excited to play that. And New Beginnings – I mean – or not New Beginnings, okay. Beginnings. So the original Earthbound was actually – so Earthbound Beginnings is the first mother game in the series. Yeah. Not how much. And then the Earthbound on SNES that was just called Earthbound was Mother Two. And then there's the Mother Three. I don't. What's Mother Three on? I don't, I've never played Mother Three before. Mother Three, I think. I don't know if Earthbound Two other ever released, but. It's just called. I know it's just called Mother Three. Yeah, Mother Three is still an exclusive thing. Yeah. Earth- and then, is there anything after that? What was after that? Here, let me go. Wait. Over. Is there anything? And then there was. We are. We are. We are. We are to talk about Xenoblade. We don't really need to. Hold on a second. We don't exactly need to talk about Xenoblade. Did, was there? Was Earthbound two already a thing? I don't think so. I think I thought it was just. Uh... Hold on. I'm looking at. I'm looking at this video from January thirteenth, twenty seventeen. And it's. Talking about Earthbound 2. I'm going to look up the Earthbound series. 
Earthbound series. Well, that doesn't look real. I don't think Earthbound Two is real, but um. Yeah, there's Mother Mother, uh, Earthbound, and there's Mother Three. Mother Th- Mother Three is from two thousand six, and it looks like it's. So Earthbound is cool, and I think it's gonna bring a lot of attention back to the Nintendo Switch Online emulators. Oh, because... Game Boy Advance and Wii U is what uh, Mother Three is on. It was for the Game Boy Advance. That's what it was on. Okay. But I think it's going to bring a, a lot of attention back to Nintendo Switch Online because, frankly, yeah. Expansion Pack was kind of a flop. Like, they had they had the DLC and then they... Everyone had was saying thing. how bad it was. Yeah, it wasn't great. So, I don't know why they waited this long to have Earthbound uh, on, on the, ah, on the well, thing. Well, it's on here now, so... It, it might have been... I don't know. Yeah, it's on here now, but it does it does beg the question, why did this take so long? I don't. I mean, then, to be honest, I think I think I, I I play online a lot mainly because there's a uh not the actual like Tetris Attack because Tetris Attack is like the Yoshi version of it, but the uh there's a Jap the, the original yeah, I guess the original yeah, Japanese yeah. version is on the SNES and I love that game. I love that's my favorite. Like I love it more than Tetris. I love it more than uh right. what's the other puzzle game that I like. But either to, way, to sum it, to sum it up, to sum everything up. Like without going into details at all, because I have to go here in a minute. Yeah, this was a good direct. This this had a lot of good stuff in it, a lot of good announcements. Oh yeah, but I don't think it's what it's not a what people were expecting, and b it doesn't seem it seem it makes it look like Nintendo isn't prioritizing the games that are coming out, and I don't think that's true. I just think that they're holding off until closer to the games release yeah. date. I wouldn't say there was there. Were, I wouldn't say there was really, like, a huge climax or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, there wasn't really, like, a, holy but, crap, that's a show-stopping game right there. Holy crap. Right. Uh, but, I think the closest thing was maybe the Nintendo, like, the first seconds that they came out with Nintendo, uh, N- Nintendo Switch Sports. That was, like, holy crap, and then the meat stuff. But either way, I think that was the most show-stopping one today, and but, we'll see what comes out next. This was a good direct. Yeah. Um, it, it had its moments. But people, people are never gonna like Nintendo's directs because unless they give them everything, <laughs> it's never they good want, enough. It's not good. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the direct was good. I enjoyed it. Me's are dead. Uh, thank you for watching. If you <laughs> Bye. Is that how you ended, you sent it? Yeah, that's how I ended. This all one. right. Uh, well, thank you everyone for watching the stream. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Thank you.